Hello, super fans. I'm your host, Ruby J, and today we're going to be assembling to talk about the Avengers. <laughs> They've been around in comic books since 1963, and beginning in 2008, they starred in some of the coolest superhero movies ever. But which is better? It's an all out civil war as we discuss what they got right the Avengers comics versus the movies. Iron Man Thor in a civil war fight. We're talking the Avengers, this is what they got right. In the movies, the Avengers were recruited by Nick Fury, but in the comics, the Avengers were brought together by a normal teenager named Rick Jones. Let's compare. Nick Fury has a cool eye patch. Rick Jones has a green sweater vest. Nick Fury was trained by the CIA. Rick's middle name is Millhouse. You know what? I'm just gonna have to give this one to Nick Fury. That's one point for the movies. In Marvel films, there's only one awesome superhero team, the Avengers. But in the comics, there are a bunch of other teams that share the same moniker. In addition to the New York team, there are the West Coast Avengers based out of Los Angeles, the Great Lakes Avengers to cover the Midwest, and even a 1 million BC version of the Avengers that features Thor's dad, Odin, and a bunch of cavemen. Everyone knows that the more superhero teams, the better. So I'm giving this one to the comics. Much like Iron Man's rocket boots, this battle is heating up. Let's talk secret headquarters. In the Avengers movies, they operated out of the Avengers Tower before moving to the new Avengers facility, a compound created from a series of refurbished Stark Industries warehouses. In the comics, the Avengers have also had two main bases, the Avengers Mansion, a massive brick house in the middle of New York City, furbished by Tony Stark, complete with a private butler, and later, a massive underwater fortress called the Hydro Base. If I had to choose between living in my own private mansion or a repurposed warehouse, I'm choosing mansion every time. That's one more point for the comics. On to the Avengers' first big bad guy in the comics and the movies, Loki. Loki from the Avengers movies is a slick guy who uses his brains and cunning for evil. In the comics, Loki's original costume is basically a green and yellow football jersey, if it was combined with one of my grandma's quilts. And much like my grandma's quilts, he's probably weak against moths. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to the movies here. And we're all tied up between the movies and the comics. This last one's for all the Infinity Stones. Which team has the best chance to beat Thanos in the Infinity War? In the comics, the Avengers teamed up with heroes including Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Drax the Destroyer, the Silver Surfer, Wolverine, and Cyclops to take down Thanos and save the universe. In the upcoming Infinity War movie, the Avengers will be teaming up with Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, all the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Black Panther, and the Winter Soldier to take on Thanos. Oh man, one version's got the X-Men and the other's got Groot and Rocket Raccoon. Can't we just like stick them together and put them all on the same team and make everyone the winner? No matter if you prefer the Avengers comics or the movies, the real winners here are the fans. Thanks to Marvel making so many marvelous versions of the superhero team. Thanks for watching What They Got Right. Did you prefer the comics or the movies? Let me know below with a comment. Then click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Wow, it really does come back every time.